Hey guys, Sully here with Losing Logic. We are going to determine the determinant of this 4x4 matrix. And when I saw this matrix, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be pretty, uh, as there's this is not a multiple of anything, so it's, we know it's not going to be zero. Um, nothing cancels out um, very well, so I know I'm going to have to uh, do a cofactor expansion with uh, a few variables. Everything doesn't become a zero. So what I found to be um, the best result is to make this guy have two zeros and I did that by multiplying negative 2 by r2 plus r3 and that will result in we have negative 4 1 2 3 up top that stays the same second row stays the same then this guy this will be zero because you have negative two plus two. Uh, here you'll have four plus negative one, so you have three. Then you have negative two plus three is one. And finally, negative four plus four is zero. Um, and then we'll have one, two, two, negative one on the bottom. So now that we have two zeros in this third column, we're gonna do a cofactor expansion of the third row and that is because the zeros make it easy we only have to do it with really the three or the find the cofactors of three and one so to do that we know we have to find the summation from k equals one to n of a in this case it's going to be row three column k times the cofactor of three k so we know that this is going to be equal to uh, let's start with this first one um, three or let me actually make this equal to the sum just so it doesn't look like I'm doing all this in my head k equals one to n of a three k and now the cofactor will be negative one uh, it's always going to be three plus k because the actual definition is i plus j and then we're gonna find the determinant of the minor at 3k so this is gonna be a 3 by 3 matrix because we're gonna be like say getting rid of okay well I'll write this out so now we have the sum of a 3k so in this case this will always be zero because we know this is going to be zero and that's the same case for column four because that's a zero and that, so let's immediately jump to three we know a 3k or a 3 2 will be three and negative one three plus two because we're at column two is going to be five so this is going to be negative we have a, a negative three here and then we simply find the 3 by 3 matrix that we want to find the determinant of. And again, that's getting rid of the second column and the third row. So we have negative 4, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, negative 1. Okay, so now we are going to do it for the second or the third column, third row. So we have a3k, we know that is 1. And now we have 3 plus the third column, so that's 6. This is going to be a positive 1. So we have positive 1 times the determinant of, again, the 3 by 3 matrix when we get rid of the third column and the third row. So that'll just be negative 4, 2, three um, excuse me this will be a one and this will be one negative two two one two negative one okay now to find a determinant of a three by three matrix uh, I'm gonna take a kind of a quick route through we're going to multiply this diagonal to get four and then we're going to add 
and remember we need to multiply by negative 3 in the beginning here then we're gonna multiply this diagonal here or excuse me it's gonna be 2 and 2 and the 1 down here so that's plus 4 and then we're gonna multiply 3 by 1 and 2 so that's 6 and then we're going to subtract this diagonal so that's 3 this diagonal so that's 2 times 2 is 4 times negative 4 is going to be negative 16 and then this final one is 2 times 1 times negative 1 is negative 2 that's going to all be in a parentheses um, and now this other determinant is going to be done through the same process we have negative 4 times negative 2 times negative 1 that's going to be negative 8 uh, plus 3 times 1 times 2 is 6 1 times 2 times 1 is 2 minus this diagonal so that's minus negative 6 minus 2 times 2 times negative 4 so that's 4 negative 16 and finally we have 1 times 1 times negative 1 plus negative 1 so we now have negative 3 let's simplify 4 and 4 is 8 and 6 is 14 minus negative 15 I believe because we have negative 16 plus negative 2 that's negative 18 and then 3 is going to make it negative 15 and we're going to add that's going to be a 0 minus remember this is where you, uh, you can mess up uh, just by simple algebra let me bring this up uh, you're going to keep this negative here and you have negative 6 plus negative 16 plus negative 1 that's negative 23 now let's simplify more we have 29 here or excuse me yep 29 and we have that multiplied by negative 3 and we have plus 23 here we have negative 3 times 29 as uh, negative 87 and plus 23 is equal to negative 64 and that is the determinant the determinant of this 4x4 four four matrix and that is how you determine our determinant thank you for watching uh, remember to follow me at losing logic yt as well as give me a subscribe uh, thank you have a good day